Now to Project First Vote, TMJ4's year-long effort to follow four students now old enough to vote. Tonight's topic, the national conversation around racism, protests, and policing. It's been a turbulent presidential election year for our four first-time voters. Shirlene Roberts, Alan Engela, and Riley McAdams are all going to Marquette University. Hunter Acton is at Robert Morris University in Illinois. First, it was the pandemic. Now it's the protests in Milwaukee. Kenosha. Charles, this is your last warning to disperse. And around the country that has generated a renewed conversation about racism, policing, and calls for change. Allen says the protests prompted him to learn more about the issues. What do you see in those protesters? What do you think they're trying to accomplish? Well, I see people who are like really struggling for, you know, their rights, essentially. You know, I don't think there's any other group here in the United States that even like compares to the amount of, you know, that fear that they live in on a day to day basis over the police. Right. Riley says racial injustice was already on her list of concerns going into the election. She participated in the Milwaukee protests this summer. Did it change your perspective in terms of talking to other people? Um, the only thing that came to my mind was just how incredibly powerful these protests are and how many people are behind the movement and how many people are ready to make a change. But what does change look like? President Trump visited Kenosha with a law and order message while visiting businesses destroyed by the burning and looting after the shooting of Jacob Blake. Two days later, former Vice President Joe Biden held a community meeting calling for police reform and racial equity after meeting privately with Blake's family. Business administration major Hunter Acton sees options. I feel like what needs to be taken from this is that not that we need to defund the police. I think we need to increase funding. And what we do with that funding is we increase, the, we make the training better. We, we, we increase the what they have to learn. But Shirling isn't confident change is coming. The engineer major says too many black lives have been lost at the hands of police. It's not being heard. It's not being heard at all because if you look up, every few months it's another death and it's starting to become the new normality. We start to normalize the fact that police officers are killing black people. Like it's not a surprise or a shock. And I think that's the most frightening thing about it. To learn more about our first-time voters as well as their thoughts on other issues like the mask mandate, head to tmj4.com slash first vote.